This here's Hope and Homesteader. Homer's Hour. For some shorter period of homesteading heart to heart honesty. This morning, Homer woke up to a situation that didn't make him none too happy. His first reaction was to drop a not so nice word out of his mouth. Please forgive me beautiful nature for me putting that out here uh, but after that I had to stop and think for a while what it was I could change and what I had to accept in that situation I don't know if this was a wise choice but it sure worked for me I chose to set that old anger aside and uh, take a good look at good stock and what was going on and the thing I figured out that I could change was I could either go about my task with a lot of fear and anger and upsetness about how things didn't go right and I could have blamed other folks I could have said man you're dumb Homer for not doing that right in the past but I decided that that stuff would have just made it worse. But I still had the mess in front of me to clean up. So, what I decided in that more moment was letting go of that anger and fear with the big old four letter word out here in nature was kind of the amount of heed I needed to pay to that emotion. Because them emotions bottled up or sometimes acted on can cause us an awful lot of problems. And so my choice today was to feel that anger for a little bit, feel that disappointment. And instead of going on about blaming other folks or getting angry and uh, acting on my anger that would make things even worse, I started thinking about what I could do to clear up the situation. And the first thing was to uh, move on to being okay in investigation mode because, you know, often things don't go right here on the homestead or with the new job or relationship or driving down the road and two raccoons came out in the road yesterday and that was not exactly what I wanted to happen, but I was in a place that I could slow down and let the raccoons finish crossing even when somebody pulled up behind me and honked their horn. Now, I could even react to that. But my reaction was to say, that person's probably in a hurry, and I think it'd be nice to let those raccoons pass. And so I motioned the cat around, or kitten, who was driving behind me. They went about their business. The raccoons were able to go on about theirs, and I got to act for me, in balance and harmony with what was around me, just like this morning. I chose to change how I reacted. I chose to change the way in which I interacted with my anger and disappointment. And so I recognized that I made some design flaws in my first attempt at putting my settling tanks together. And I picked up the pieces and I kind of moved, I moved on, and I got to come up with a new way to take care of the sediment that's in the water. But I can look back and learn from what I did. So I got that going, but uh, right now, but the point I want to make was we don't have to, the thing we can change is how we react to our emotions, good and bad. But we can choose the path that uh, will keep us in a little bit healthier balance. And I was able to do that this morning by experiencing some of the anger, so I didn't cheat myself out of the anger or the disappointment. I got to feel it. I just paused for a second. And from that point, I was able to make some rational decisions that were in line with how Homer would like to show up in life and then st start moving on with my day as a happier, healthier homer so experienced that motion soaked it in for as long as I needed to and then I act as my friend Roy down in Texas to tell me is put a little space between re and act and react and so 
I had the opportunity to react and I was like, ah! and then I decided to let it dissipate for a bit so that I can move forward in a healthy and happier way for Homer. I uh, don't know if that'll help you. I still uh, get to move forward with the mess that's in front of me. You know, something, whatever I'm disappointed in is still there, but I can move forward with a little better mind and instead of making it worse, like I might have when my table fell over with my totes this morning, smashed it with the hammer, kicked something, then I would just be in the worst spot because I would have made it worse by ruining something or hurting the homer's toes. So, I think that uh, this is kind of getting goofy, uh, but I guess the point is we have a choice, uh, things that we can accept and things we can change. And when I see a situation that doesn't go like I wanted and it causes more problems even, I have to accept that it's that way for me. I have to accept that it's that way. And then usually I have to change the direction I was taken, go try something different to make the fallen over table not fall over next time or a different approach that doesn't require the table. Those things I can change. I can also change how I might have reacted based on my disappointment. I don't have to hurt others uh, emotionally. I don't have to hurt others physically. I need to do what's right for me and in that situation letting out my emotions for a second feeling it the anger the disappointment taking in a deep breath and then starting for me this works look at things I can be grateful for this didn't happen and it could have it could have made it worse no one was hurt it happened in the night while we were sleeping I I'm grateful that I was able to spend a good time with Bobby Bison yesterday trying to figure that out and get started and putting it together because I got some time with family. And I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to move forward and let my emotions be calm and find balance and listen to the songbirds. And look at the birch trees and the pine trees, spurs trees, uh, and the other pine trees, and the maple trees, and just enjoying myself. Now, I couldn't have done that if I had carried my anger or acted on my anger and hadn't put a little space between reenact. So I hope that today this Homer is Homer's hour or some shorter period of homesteading heart to heart or heart to heart homesteading honesty uh, will be beneficial for you. I hope you make wise choices today and what you can control or what you can try and control, what you can try and change, your emotions, how you feel, how you react and wise choices in what you accept. The table's fallen over. The milk is spilt. The thing you're angry about is in the past. And you get to make a choice today and change how you react. And so I'm happy I don't have a sore toe. I'm happy that I get to spend some more time with Bass and Bobby today and Horatio, he's the smart one when he gets back up here and we get to work together to try and figure out another way to build settling tanks or resolve our sediment problem in the well. Just saw you lag update on property.